how's everyone doing? Today I'll be doing an unboxing review of Godzilla. This is the Blu-ray DVD Ultraviolet Digital Copy Combo Pack from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment being released September 16th. And if you've seen Godzilla, definitely let me know what you think of it. Godzilla seems to be a very polarizing movie, a love it or hate it movie. There doesn't seem to be too much in between on it. But I think it's a far better film than the last Godzilla movie we had, which was the 98 Matthew Broderick Godzilla. I think this personally is a cinematic experience. It was fantastic in IMAX, and it looks great on home video as well. The video and audio quality is fantastic. This is what surround sound was made for. And personally, I love the look to the film. It is washed out, a lot of grays, a lot of black, but it fits the bleak tone of the movie perfectly. And I really like the cast as well, with Aaron Tyler Johnson, Brian Cranston, Elizabeth Olsen. I think they all play their parts just perfectly. I heard a lot of complaints about certain characters that didn't make it through to the end, but I think you're basically, you know, looking at the past right there, the different roles they played in, and you expect them to, you know, make it through and be the lead character in every single role that they play, and that's just not how it works. And I think those people play their parts just perfect, as well as everybody else. I think it worked. And I think a lot of people were upset about this movie because they were expecting lots of action. I think they were expecting a movie like Pacific Rim, where there's action all throughout. And this was just very well balanced and paced, in my opinion. Uh, it wasn't perfect, but I think it worked really well. It was a cinematic experience overall, and there's a lot of emotional drama going on, and the focus is more about humanity and the humans uh, than Godzilla. And, you know, right there on the front, it says an epic showdown. That's really kind of misleading because the showdown doesn't really happen until the end of the movie. You have to wait like an hour and 40 minutes to really the big showdown, the climax, the end. But it's totally worth it in my opinion. All the rest of that build up really works for this film. Personally, I was blown away by this movie. I saw it in theaters and I just rewatched it on Blu-ray just now. And it, like I said before, it sounds great. It looks great. It just works. Uh, you know, it had some palpable tension. Again, lots of drama. And then you see the climax with the fight scenes and I really enjoyed it. I thought Godzilla looked great, the Motus looked great, and I can't wait to see what they do with Godzilla 2. Gareth Edwards, who directed this, also directed the movie Monsters from 2010. I really love that. It's kind of a throwback to the classic creature feature sci-fi movies, and I like his direction here. And I think you can see a lot of visual references from other movies, uh, disaster movies, post-apocalyptic movies, and uh, you could see a lot of that uh, in this Godzilla movie, and I think it worked well, uh, kind of barring that kind of visual style and certain uh, scenes right there kind of remind me of different movies but definitely worked overall here. You know, I think it was a great mixture of that drama and action, you know, explosions, fight scenes, cities being torn down, people being, you know, thrown all over the place. There were some fantastic shots in this movie. It was just a tragically beautiful movie. Uh, some of the scenes that really stand out to me the most besides, you know, the, the climax and the certain scenes where things are exploding and all that cities being torn down were the scenes where Brian Cranston uh, comes back to his home 15 years later and he sees the happy birthday banner and you know the home is all destroyed. That was just a really tragically beautiful scene. It just hits you right there. And then the scene where Brian Cranston and um, Ford are going back and they're on the boat and they're wearing the gas mask. That was just an awesome scene as well. There's a lot of scenes that just really stand out. Godzilla has great drama, great action. You know, it's a great monster creature feature movie and visually stunning as well as the audio being spectacular. And let me know if you're looking forward to Godzilla 2 and what monster you want to see Godzilla face in Godzilla 2. But now let's take a more in-depth look at the Blu-ray DVD Ultraviolet Digital Copy Combo Pack. Let's check it out. Here's the Godzilla Blu-ray. This is the Blu-ray DVD Digital Copy Combo Pack. and I took the UV sticker off right there just because it looks a lot nicer without it. You get the full scene of Godzilla Storm in the city, going after those Motus. And the title, Godzilla, is embossed and raised up. And the rest of the slip cover is a glossy feel. Really nice. An epic showdown, says New York Observer. That's somewhat misleading because the showdown isn't till the very end of the movie. But I think it works well with the pacing. There's the spine, and here is the back. There's a quick synopsis of the film, another blurb from San Jose Mercury News. This is the Godzilla fans have been waiting for. Some scenes from the movie. 
and then going over the special features. And after I do this uh, unboxing review right here, I will go ahead and show you uh, the special feature menu on the Blu-ray disc because it doesn't go over all the special features on the outside right here. It just goes over a couple of them and then it says, and more. We're going to find out what the and more is. Let's go ahead and slide off this slip cover. And here we go. The Blu-ray case and the artwork is the same as the slip cover. The front cover, the spine, the back. The back just has... Uh, right there the cast and then the crew and everything right there. Besides that everything is the same. And instead on the slipcover it has the UV information. Let's go ahead and open this up. And here is the ultraviolet digital copy code. And here we go, here are the discs. There's the DVD and there's the Blu-ray. And Warner has the typical black discs with the title for their new releases. Personally, I would have preferred if they would have had some kind of artwork on the discs, maybe some scenes from the movie, perhaps Godzilla fighting the Motus. That would have been really cool. And if you can see right there on the discs, it has that light-colored Japanese text right there, too, on each disc. Just picking it up a little bit. You can see it because the discs are black, and the Japanese lettering is like a light gray. But there you go, there's the Blu-ray disc, and there's the DVD disc. And I really like that raised lettering right there on the front cover. The embossed title looks really nice, and I like the glossy slip cover. So there you go, there is what the Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy combo pack looks like. Alright, here is the menu screen for Godzilla. And let's go ahead and check out the special features. You click the special features, and these pop up right here, Monarch Declassified and the Legendary Godzilla. And if you click on Monarch Declassified, it brings you to another screen, and it has these options right here, Operation Lucky Dragon, Monarch the Muto File, and the Godzilla Revelation. And you click back down here, and there's the Legendary Godzilla. You click there, and you get a whole bunch of options for that one. Godzilla, Force of Nature. A Whole New Level of Destruction. Into the Void, the Halo Jump. And Ancient Enemy, the Mutos. So there are a bunch of special features to choose from on here. So there you go. That's what the menu screen looks like with the special features. So there you go, there's my unboxing review of the Godzilla Blu-ray DVD Ultraviolet Digital Copy Combo Pack from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment out September 16th. And if you've seen Godzilla, definitely let me know what you think of it as well. Leave me a comment or a video response down below. Hope everyone's doing well. Take care. Sublime, sublime.